Good morning. And this is a little bit of a show and tell and a little bit of electronics, but not a great deal. Um, it's something I built for, for work, effectively. Um, we had a saying at work, I don't give a... And shall we, shall we fill in the last letter? Starts with the last word, begins with an F. I don't give a... So anyway, because everybody was saying this, and, and we had decisions to make as to which expletive and what reason we didn't give a f for, um, I made this little box up. And uh, as you can see on the bench um, is what I lovingly call the ometer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to say rude words on YouTube because then I wouldn't be family friendly. But yeah, here is the um, here is the little pink box, and uh, I'm sorry, it's pink against a pink background, and I've already taken the back off. Now, the way it works is you push the button, and it gives you your reason why you don't give up. So, as you see, you know, you might give up. You, 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 you used to give a f um, you ran out of f to give and and so on so that's that's the front side uh, what I'm going to do is I will turn it over and inside all you actually have is one of those surface mount kits that you put together yourself and it's one of those random number generators, 1 to 10. And you push the button, It basically the button is across this button here, um, just in parallel with that button there, uh, which is the normal button you use. And the if I use my poking tweezers, when I close them they're a very good poking stick, and you see each of the positives of the LEDs is connected to one of the LEDs down the side. The negative is on a common rail all the way down the edge and that then goes obviously to the negative of the board here and it really is just a simple count 10 circuit. Now this uses the surface mount 4017 I see, which is just a decimal counter, and uh, it triggers off, I believe that's a triple five, I can't remember now, it's so long since I built this. Yeah, it, it's a standard 555 timer I see, giving a random string of clock pulses, and that's determined by the charge on this capacitor. This capacitor holds the chip in run mode, and when the electricity dies, uh, whatever this was last on is what LED is lit up. So the easiest way to do this is to give you a, a demonstration of it working. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my power supply because I can't be bothered to hunt for batteries at three o'clock in the morning. Um, and if I steal the wife, she'll be upset. Uh, let's have a look. So this is the positive side and this is the negative side and already there is an LED lit up. So if I hit the button, as you see, it counts through and eventually gives you a result. And um, as you see in this case, it says, haven't given up in ages. And you just push the button and the random number generator spews out a result depending on which LED is lit up. There you go. And, and you just keep pushing it and, uh, you know, used to give a... F and that's just the simple use of one of those Chinese kits... Um, in a pink Hammond box. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, give me a thumbs up, click like, click subscribe, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos, and leave comments. Please leave comments. Uh, I do try and answer them, and uh, 
tell me what I can improve, whether it be the audio, the video, or even the uh, the content. Um, obviously, this is uh, one of my more unusual projects. But uh, yes, there we go. Here is the ometer. Many thanks. See you again soon. Bye for now.